Wow. This is a beautiful view. Like, look at this. I'm chilling at my girl's place. Get to just cuddle her and sleep with her and look. Waking up to the most beautiful view ever. Of course, this is just my girlfriend in the game, you guys. I mean, I still have my crush at work, but as far as um, fake characters is concerned, Judy is going to be my number one. Because look at her. Look at her. Such a fucking goddess, bro. Like, who wouldn't want to wake up to a goddess like this? Like, dead ass. I, I just love it. Oh, too bad I have to go because, you know, season seven of my YouTube channel. This is Lover of Ladies. Thank you for tuning in to Cyberpunk 2077. And, oh. Oh, no, I'm having another attack. Please, not now. Please, I'm, I'm at Judy's house. I don't want to ruin the moment. Come on. Come on. Oof. My goodness. Come on. Anyways, let me go and do a couple of missions here and let's get started. Okay, I just love how this game is taking a long-ass time to, like... Oh, shit. Um, I didn't do any of that. Oh, no. We're not doing this. Get out. Got a gig. Some biotechnica big shot. She's holed up in a corpo hotel. Security's tight, and I need me a merc who's up to the task. Anyway, know you like a challenge. Deets attached. So you mean to tell me this game glitched so bad that once it finally loaded, all the cops wanted to shoot me? Like y'all ain't shit. You ain't. You ain't shit for that. <laughs> I was about to say shit. Anyways, I saw that Judy texted me, so she's really important. Let me open up the message here. Let me see what she wants. Uh, yo-ho, know what rhymes with Judy? Booty. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you're so cute. Is she drunk? Hey, you okay? Just out with some friend, friends, friends. Okay, so you are drunk. Is she going to respond? Well, maybe just a little bit. Just don't go too crazy, all right? Sure. Ha! <laughs> sure. Huh, okay. Well, at least she's having fun. Meanwhile, I'm over here. Oh, hold on. I gotta figure out what's the... Ooh, no, 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 no. I was not trying to call him. My bad. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, first of all, this is bad. Secondly... What the hell? Oh, great. It was supposed to be a nice, easy mission, and apparently it's not. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is not a good way to start. Oh, wait, I'm gonna run to the elevator. Okay, bye. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. And then as soon as I walk in, I bet I have to kill all those other people too, huh? Damn it. Of course I would ruin the... Surprise. Like, I can't even do any sneaky sneak sneaks. This is gonna be such a pain in the ass.
Oh shit, what happened? So, where were we? Uh, talk later. Got a Delta. Delta. I was supposed to text him because I know he had some information for me. Um, uh, is it? Hold on. I am so bad at this. Well, listen. As far as I'm concerned, it's a learning curve for me, so who cares? Um, uh, is it? Uh, just desserts. Ah, right here. So, Chick's name is Joanne Coach, Regional Director for Tech and Development or some shit at Biotechnica. Okay, she's corporal. Um, means she tests all the shiny new gizmos. Last little gizmo she tested, yeah, that one flatlined over 70 souls. Folks from a claim called Red Orchard or Red Orchard or something like that. Chuck tried to dry the tears of victims' families with a few ennies or try that doesn't work and decided to close the book on it sure enough book didn't close all the way all them families pulled together to hire someone who give this director coach the cordial greeting she deserves you know the kind super cordial to show her they really care i'll flick you the cords and the access code to the corp hotel coaches hold up in shoot me a word after the smoke's cleared So basically, this, the tech, Biotechnica employer had a weapon and that weapon killed a whole bunch of people up to the point where, up to the point where she thought that would cover her traces and wash her hands off of any type of, oh fuck me, oh no. Oh, fuck. I guess I'm gonna have to kill all these robots. Oh, fuck me. Okay, I definitely gotta start over again, because this shit's pretty annoying. Okay, so this time around... I'm gonna go and make sure that I don't do anything stupid. I'm definitely gonna make sure that, you know... I successfully sneak my way without any type of threat. I hate how when you die, it doesn't necessarily lead you to the very, very beginning of the mission. Sometimes you end up having the need to just drive to the objective, which, you know what, fine, okay, I guess, but I want to be at least near my mission so I won't have to restart the whole thing all over again. I feel like that would be less time consuming and that would definitely encourage me a lot more to finish said quest. And don't say nothing about my driving, you hear me? Alright, so I just love how this game takes a shit ton of time to load, like come on cyberpunk, what's the point in saying you put in 50,000 different um updates when said updates don't work like that's corny all right so i'm gonna go and oh okay so i'm gonna answer again because you know what that's my girl i always answer her messages no matter what because i love her i'm gonna do different answers this time they'll see if she says anything different than the last time picks or it didn't happen i meant in terms of her being drunk i'm not asking for anything else you could at least send me some stills fine knock yourself out <laughs> she is so drunk that is so funny so cute what else is she gonna say nothing okay all right, so I'm just gonna walk on past these cops. You're not gonna do anything. Nope, no, you're not. Got a gig. Some yeah. biotechnica big shot. Yep. She's holed up in a corpo hotel. Security's tight. Nine. Cause she's. Who's up to the task? She's a chicken shit, and anyway, I'm here. Know you like a challenge. 
Yep, I do. Attached. Yep, and I don't even need to look at... Well, I'm gonna look at it. But yeah, the fact that she thinks she can say her stories with hush-hush money, it's really stupid. But that's on her. Because at the end of the day, no amount of money is going to help you clean off your hands, so. Grab, and then I'm going to do non-lethal takedown. Because, you know, I'm not here to kill you, big boy. Because I know you're here to do your job with your check and everything. Yes. See, easy sneaks. This is what I wanted originally. Just easy sneaks. That's it. But yeah, what do you think when someone realizes that they're doing something wrong and they think by giving you money or gifts that would replace their sorries? Like, I feel like that is way more selfish as if you think material things can solve everything because they don't. So... The fact that all 70 people that got killed, all of their families hired me to kill that lady, says a lot. It really does. I'm making sure I'm turning off all the cameras here because I'm not gonna, you know, get caught. These robots are like really tough to handle, so. Okay, cool, I can just sneak past. Call it a day. Thank God this is so easy to walk through. Technical ability, um, I don't have enough, so I'm gonna find a way to try and get past. I'm gonna turn this camera off because I'm not trying to get caught. Oof. This is really intense. Like, I feel like I'm shedding bricks here. Okay, I'm gonna sneak over here, right? Making sure I don't get caught. Cause you know, my pretty little face is not going to jail. So I assume this is the way to her apartment. And I'm in, oh, I'm right next to her too. Oh my goodness. You know what, before I kill her, is there anything I can steal? Yay, I can take that. You know what? I might as well just kill her now. With my katana! Wakey, wakey. What? Who, who the hell are you? Your nightmare. What you find more interesting is who sent me. Remember your little science experiment with the Red Ochre clan? Yeah. Your family, send their regards. And I'm gonna kill you. I, I do. I remember well. It was an integral stage in my research. Y you see, we're working on new antibiotic- I don't oh, care. Please. Gonna feed me the story of how sacrifices must be made in the quest to save humanity? I'm not. I know people like you. Oh, Tired really? planning myself. And I know you won't let me go. But, but at least let me back up the test results for future application. These nomads, they're gone regardless. Let their death serve a purpose. This antibiotic of yours, I know for damn sure, most of humanity couldn't afford it. I know its main purpose is to fatten your holiday bonus. Fuck your data. You die here and now. <laughs> she got folded like an omelet! <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Anyways, since I'm here, I might as well just figure out what else I can steal. This is nice. Ooh, what's this? I'll take that. Ooh, I'll take this. Oh my goodness, this is a nice bed. Okay. Interesting clothes here. I got a nice little vest, okay. Um. I don't think there's anything, ooh. Anyways, I thought for sure I was going to get caught, but... Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, uh, it's just a little excerpt. I'm not gonna read that, but... Um... Let me see here. Is there anything I can use from here? Um... I'm gonna do E9... Uh... 1C, 1C. Nice. Let me see how much I can... Oh, I got $303. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to sneak on past because I'm already done killing her as it is, so hopefully no one's here. Only the robots. This is nice. And we are out of here. Holy shit, the fact that I was able to sneak successfully. I'm impressed with myself. Like, I truly am. Being in this elevator brings back old memories of me and Jackie back in the very beginning of the series when we did that Arasaka mission and we were just standing here in the elevators do you guys think about him still because I do I still think about Jackie and I'm and I'm actually pretty upset that even though he was the most advertised character during the cyberpunk trailers he was one of the few characters that died stupid fast and that shit really gets me because I love Jackie. He's like a really cool character. And to see him go like that, I don't know. Ooh, hell yeah, I'm gonna take some money. But yeah, to see him go like that, that's, that's just dumb wild to me. All right, so the cops are here. Let me just have my fist. And I'm walking away. Leave me alone. Thank you. Nice. Job is completed and done. Yeah, I know. I parked my car in the middle of the street. Don't say nothing about that. Joanne Coke bit the dust. Cream. Nothing I love more than working with pros. Gigs closed. The Eddies are on their way. Okay, so I figured since this quest was pretty near the other one, I might as well go to it. Regina. Hey, some hey. construction workers went on strike after finding their tools in the morning covered in blood. Their site's a parking lot where gangs have been known to pop up. Gang violence is a maybe, sure, but my money's on a cyber psycho attack. Oh no. If I'm right, do what you can to incapacitate them. I'll take it from there. It's nice to see Regina again. That's pretty cool. But if there's a cyber attack... Oh my god. Scaves sometimes come here to sell their victims' implants. Maybe a deal didn't go smoothly and one of the scaves got a little carried away. Alright, so that's a good possibility. Oh, a dead body. Looky, looky. Okay, and they're dead. Cool. So, something's happening down there. Question is, how bad is it? Wow, there's a whole bunch of cars here, but no people. And there's a dead body. Is there another dead body? Hello, hello? Ooh. What's this? Who? Oh, that's the guy. All right, come on, honey. We could do this the easy way, or we could do this the hard way. The choice is all yours. Let me see, what's this? Conversation between Macy J and Peter. <clears throat> you get those walkers the client wanted? Uh, no, what client? The annoying one. Oh, that one. Shit, don't got them. So now what? How are you gonna make it up to him? Massage his balls? First of all, fuck you. And second of all, why are we the ones cleaning up Biotechnical's mess? Good point. So what's on the menu? I say, we carve him to the fucking bone. Just don't forget the tools, because I'm not yanking out his implants with my bare hands. 
meds or no meds, Gunk's fucked anyway. Plus, not like he would have put in a good word for us. He still got bad lungs? Who the fuck cares? Instead of meds, he'll get steel to the gut. Life's a bitch, ain't it? Oh, come off it. You had a job and you, bo you botched it. Fucking own up and stop acting so smart. Okay, so... He wanted pills, he didn't get any. So now he's just bugging out. Oh, he's fast. Thank god my katana's faster. What the hell's this? That's the painkillers? Another conversation. Okay, that's the same one. Okay, what's this one? Oh, okay, so this is between the guy and me, CJ. I need those narrow blockers. A lot of them. Now. So, we'll get some. Fuck, I said I need them now. The pain's got me losing my damn mind. Chill. They'll get here when they get here. What's the pain from anyway? They poisoned me. Fucking Biotechnica. Everyone here's got it. Their goddamn lungs are collapsing. Some are dead already. I swear, once I'm back on my feet... Alright, shit was just trying to be polite. Never asked for your whole fucking life story. Damn, this guy's a jerk. I'm glad he got killed off. Alright, so my work here is done. Time for me to scram, especially since I already pickpocketed half a dozen bodies, so... I, I like to consider that my tips. On top of the pay I get. Alright, let me message Regina. You know what? It's good to see Regina again. I missed her. It's not the same. You know? It's been a hot minute. Turns out, Cedric met the same sad fate as the other Red Orchard members that Biotechnica was experimenting on. Scave decided to kick him while he was down, and that's when he snapped, as would anyone. First the Corpos, then the Scaves, and now you. Who knew you'll be at the end of that downward spiral? Wait, wait, wait! What happened now? What happened, baby? What happened? Ugh, I'm sorry, and a little embarrassed. How are you? Feel like some took a chainsaw to my brain. Anything I can do to help? Nah, I'll be fine. I'm just tired. Talk to you later. Gonna go back to bed. Before I forget, I got something for you. Sent it to your apartment. Sorry again. Good night. Aww. She sent something to my apartment. How cute. I'll definitely check it out later. Okay, so I'm in this place, and it's called Seventh Hell. What am I going to hell for? The hell is this place? B, got a guy I need gone. Yeah. Used to be iron for hire. Still acts like it. But the eddies are worth the risk, trust me. Need more intel? Check the attachment. Waiting on your sick. Thanks. Okay. I'll cut to the chase. Jack Morser, NC's ginkiest merc. Did a recent job for me and went too far. Way too fucking far. He was supposed to clep some shards from a Zeta Tech transport. Quiet like, except it wasn't fucking quiet. That cycle offed every single guard, beheaded the driver, and blew up the truck. Damn, what the hell? This isn't no GTA shit. Corpse foaming at the mouth, searching high and low for the prick, and I'll be damned if I go down cause of him. I need you to toss his head at their feet. Maybe then they'll let this go. Mosser owns a seedy club downtown called Seventh Hell. Gut tells me he's holed up there till the smoke's cleared. 
I need you to get inside the club and take his psycho ass down. Preferably on the down low. Understood? Good. Let me know when it's done. The thing is... Do I actually want to do this down low? And are you guys twins or something? Like, what's Whoa. good? Think fleas like you just get in for free? Excuse me, what the fuck did you just say to me? You have VIP rooms here? You know, for private shindigs? He called me a fucking boss. flea. Think he could use a little more company? Hmm? Don't try to play me. Either I see Eddie's or your ass is walking. You know what? Fuck it. You. you too! Okay, that was pretty nice. Take that, and I'll take that. So, let's go. Let's, uh, get inside. Um, can I not get inside? Am I not able to get inside because I killed a guy? Uh, wow, I can't even do this quest because I killed the guy. To be honest, though, do I really care? I can't even get inside the door. Oh my god, whatever. I can't really get inside. This is not what I want. I just want to do the quest and that's it. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. Here, you can sit here. Right? Sit down. Just chill. And you can also sit down next to your twin as well. You know? Sit down and also chill. See? Don't you guy pals look so relaxed and... And chill like I just wanna just wanna go can I not go what the hell I'm anyways um yeah I think I'm gonna call it a day thank you for watching this is lover of ladies and I'll see you next time